Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of the dorm room tours. So today I have the last uh, six rooms for you. Uh, and that's a total of 18 rooms we had, you guys. That is so much and a lot. And I was really having a lot of fun with it. And I'm so happy you all had as well, because it really shows in the rooms. It's so awesome to see all that. So here, first up, we have a, a room, another room of uh, Nerdy Snaily. This is the third room, and she wanted to make a really crunchy room for in an attic or something that's maybe haunted or ghosted or whatever. And it's a really creepy room, and uh, well, I'm just going to show you. It's full of stuff and spider webs and all that sort of things. I don't know if she purposely didn't have wallpaper or it got removed by placing it. If that's the case, I'm sorry. I didn't know because as I said in the first video, I'm watching these rooms with you for the first time myself. So um, I haven't uh, altered them in any way or checked to see what is missing. I didn't know something was missing in this room. so. I'm sorry, let me know if you had a wallpaper there or not. But look at how she made the clutter here. I really loved it. And with the candles like there, it's a really... The, the mood here is uh, indeed a little bit crunchy, spooky, a little bit scary. You don't know what's here or what... Whoa. I wanted to say what happened. And then you have all these scar or scars um scratches on the wall so this is real uh, it's a real creepy room nor uh, you did really well for making a creepy room but it is real creepy and everything is old and and there's spots on it and yikes it's such a good room because i really get the feeling of a spooky haunted room but it really <laughs> it's creeping me out. <laughs> oh, the clutter. Are those just doll heads? Nor, you're so. I didn't know you had this much creepiness in you, I have to say. I'm a little bit um, amazed and scared right now. <laughs> There are doll heads everywhere. That's just plain creepy. Nor, uh-oh. But you did a marvelous job for making a crunchy haunted spooky room. I mean, yes. I um I wouldn't want to visit here. I'm no. <laughs> it's just too creepy. <laughs> With all the heads. That's oh. Uh. All the scratches everywhere and the spots and the marks on the wall and the floor. I mean, look at the flooring. That's... That's just plain creepy. You did really, really, really well in making a creepy room. So, good job, but uh, I'm, I'm moving on because it really creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, next uh, room. I, I don't uh, hope uh, someone else made a creepy room because I'm really... Uh, okay, good. The next room is from uh, Coco Vanilla. And she made it, or he. Uh, I keep saying she. I don't know why in my head, but most simmers are a she until proven otherwise. <laughs> I know there are a lot of guys playing the sims as well, so I, I really have no idea why in my head. If it's not in a name, I turn it automatically in a girl. I'm so sorry. That's, I, I don't want to offend people, so... Uh, I'm I'm aware of my habit like that, so that's why I'm saying he or she uh, whenever I think of it. But uh, for he or she made a room for two people. Also the divider line in the middle, which I think is really funny to do. I don't know why, but I wouldn't think of doing it like that. But I think it's a great solution if you have a room and have to share it with someone. Just draw literally a line in between. So here we have the working uh, space with a lot of clutter and stuff and little details everywhere, books, 
pencil cases and of course someone is doing the makeup at their desk and I really love a lot of people use those uh, those dolls in the in the dorm room it's a really I don't know they're fun and sweet and, and collectible and uh, I think that's a really nice addition hey we got the lights here yay I didn't have spotted an Alexa thing yet but what isn't yet may be coming but maybe not so I think this is a, a musical person with a guitar that's a really cute guitar Oh, with the freezer bunny I didn't even know we had that one that's cute a little stuff and a little bookcase as a divider which is also a really smart thing to do and then we have the more of the sporting type here but also a little bit musician really love this corner like this with with the seating chair and the couch and uh, the table and the books and yay the Alexa thing ding 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 I have seen those uh, lava lamps also quite often. It's real funny to see what people use in, in the dorm rooms to clutter things up and to make it feel like a dorm room. It's real funny. I think uh, lava lamps are, are maybe uh, they're old. Uh, I mean, when I was young, they already were old and now they're coming back again. Or are they coming back? I really don't no, I haven't seen that much, but then said I haven't been out much, so I have no idea. But I like that they put them in the game. Uh, I don't know, when I had a lava lamp uh, in my youth, <laughs> grandma talks, uh, it was also really fun just to look at it and the blobs moving and stuff. And I, I can see in that having in a dorm room because it's just... Uh, something that feels like 70s 80s um, maybe it's from a person's youth or something it's just a memory or a running gag or something like that and i think that's a really fun addition to have so let's look at the middle of the room yes we had everything just showcase it from here I'm trying to do it slowly because I don't want to make you all nauseous. So here we have that. I love the little clutter like this. And here totally different clutter. It's, it's fun to see that people really, if they are making a dorm room for two people, they're just not copying uh, or mirroring one side of the room, but they they make it their own for another sim that lives there so you really have two separate people living in that dorm room and i think that's really fun and detailed and well thought of so that's a really smart and cool thing to do so this was a room by coco vanilla and uh, as said of course all the names are in the description of the video so you can check them out if you like a certain room you can download them from the gallery and here we have hell yeah hamster that's another dutchie hello fellow dutchie uh, and she makes this room and this is for one person yes not another bed and really big and see made the space up in a lot of little spaces with the divider the bookcase like this other people use this bookcase as well it's a really smart bookcase to use i think because it doesn't close off the space so it still feels very open but you still have the feeling of separate spaces in one room so that's a really good thing to do and a double bed i this is the first double bed uh, in the dorm room uh, which is smart i guess you can have a friend sleep over or a friend having to sleep over if you know what i mean <laughs> some woohoo going on uh, or that person just want to have a two person's bed and then here 
uh, more storage space for books and all that sort of things which I can imagine is very useful because you have a lot of books when you're in college that's just insane I still have all my college books and there are a lot and all the money I've spent on them is oh, it's insane and selling them is optional but it's not really useful because uh, within a year those books aren't current anymore so they have to buy the new books because something has changed or something so you're stuck with your old books but that's enough about my books <laughs> I love the color combination I think someone else did the color combination with uh, red and black as well and I think that's a really cool color scheme to use it makes it cool without being too dark because you still have color somewhere oh, I love those candles they're so cute oh and here's oh no that's not a, that's just uh, radio stuff oh but a we got another one <laughs> that's so cool I think it's so funny everyone put it in the room I think there are just two or three rooms that didn't do it <laughs> we have still a few rooms to go but uh, yeah that's so funny and the working space oh this is also whoa what happened it's also really smart to use this desk because it has a lot of little storage space with little drawers and I don't know maybe a secret drawer for your diary and all that sort of things and uh, a gaming uh, computer and a good chair for it and I don't know why it's glitching like that so I'm going to back up a little bit and you can see the guitar more books she has a lot of books which I can imagine because I know what she's studying and I can imagine you have a lot of books in there so I think she made this room from her own experience with all the books and such so uh, the room is very glitchy I don't know if that's my game I don't know what it's doing so but we already saw the room I didn't show it from above so it's like this hell yeah hamster doesn't use a lot of clutter but made up the windows like this and very keep the room very clean so that's really cool and then we have uh, this room which is really white in comparison to the black room which is really fun and really cluttered i can already see that that's a lot of stuff going on we're going to go in it for a second and uh, this is the room of a sweetie veil which is a very cute name Sufitiville <laughs> so here we are it's a hey, here we have him <laughs> uh, okay I'm sorry I, oh that's smart with the, the fridge like that that's a cool idea because not in, in a dorm room you don't typically put a, a big fridge because you don't have the space for it so a little mini fridge uh, at your desk or something is a really uh, smart way to store it uh, some basic food uh, stuff and here we have the working spaces and a lot of trophies and stuff sporting things I love how people used those uh, detail in thing <laughs> energy drink oh, oh the poor student living here has to do an all-nighter or something and have to do and uh, you guys you can't leave a pizza like that <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh and here a lot of stuff as well old computer things so maybe this is more of a science computer gaming programmer kind of person also the energy drink which I think is a really fun addition oh I didn't know you could put down those cards that's cool I really should uh, collect all the collectibles more because there are a lot of things I really didn't know about it and whoa this wall is full of posters and things this is a real gamer with all that kind of stuff and then uh, cleaning supplies 
which is a neat detail. I haven't seen anyone use cleaning supplies in their uh, dorm room. And then here the, I think, closets with all the post-its and notes on it, and things to remember, maybe glasses to take, or uh, when you to do your laundry. Then we have a music station here, and I think that's for... Oh, that's maybe for that person still, because that person seems to be more into sports and all that sort of things. But oh, of course, when you are into sports, you can also do a music major or something. And I love these little additions, like maybe this is his girlfriend or and his dog or a friend from home, or maybe he has a little sister that made those paintings or and all the exercise posters, sporting posters, collectibles. What a fun room. I re oh, and the, the skateboard on the door. Really cool details that are placed in this room. And then stuff on the floor, of course. Because it, it isn't a dorm room without some clothing on the floors. <laughs> really cute. This, this is also a room that feels very much alive with uh, the personalities living here. It's really cool. And clothing there as well. Oh, and the storage space. That's smart. This person utilized the space also really, really smart with all the storage space stuff. Which is really cool. And the laundry basket right there. Yes, this is also a very cool room. A lot of storage, a lot of details, a lot of clutter. I love it. And you can really see the personalities of the sims that are living there, which is really cool. And next up we have Ravenclaw Zara. And I think that is a girl. So I'm going to say she. I'm sorry if you are not a girl, but I believe you are. And this is really cute girly room a little bit of old stuff as i said before that's really logic or realistic in a dorm room because you get hand-me-downs or you go to the flea market or whatever just whatever you can get your hands on uh, you take with you until you have money to maybe buy something new and oh this is also a really inventive thing to put the mirror on the side of the desk that's cool. And then the color things there. I really don't. It's, it's sort of a curtain, but it's not really a curtain, so I don't know how to call it. And then some paintings. This is a really organized person, I'm feeling. Because there's no clutter. There are just a little things on the wall, but not too much. Everything is very neat, organized, stacked together. I really like that. This is also a very different personality. Oh, this is smart to put the TV there like that. Didn't even know it was possible. And a little corner for making food. I like that some people put that in there as well. Uh, so you don't have to go out, but you can just uh, warm up some noodles or something and just have dinner in your room. Oh, it's a two-person bedroom. There are two very neat persons here. That's cool. And the laundry basket. All the stuff. I, I feel this person is maybe a little bit more cluttered. Because he has stuff everywhere. So I think he wouldn't mind that much clutter. But this person is really, really neat. There's no clutter. Well, a little bit there, but it's not that much. Really fun. Such a cute room. Makes me happy. And then we have two rooms of the same person. From Simbina. And I don't know if Simbina is a boy or a girl. But the person made two rooms. And this is the first one. It's for two persons, as you can see right here. And I love how they utilize the storage space like this. That's really cool. You can still put some books uh, there. And you have books in your closet. There are 
some things like utensils and everything little plates which is a really great detail to have and then here's some more books and the trunk and that's a cute picture i'm learning all kinds of new stuff that we have in the game i, I <laughs> I really should uh, look more for different kind of things to use because I'm, I'm really such a builder that just knows what I want uh, but they're often quite the same stuff and I really don't look into debug items so I really should do that more because I have the feeling there are quite more useful stuff in it that I imagine it's just not all big stuff of course so I really should check out the little things as well I love those butterflies I think they're so beautiful and I love these little details like this I mean this <sighs> Ooh. yes maybe there's a spellcaster living here of, or someone that wants to be a spellcaster and then here we have another computer space thingy do we have three computers then one two that's a lot and one bed and my nuts or is it one bed oh two so I am nuts I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh it's a bunk bed that's smart I was thinking why there are three computers but hey there is also three beds so three persons that's real smart and maybe there was a closet standing here but disappeared or that's just attached to the bed really smart thing to do because I like to read in bed so uh, you don't go up and down and up and down uh, to finish your book and put it away <laughs> and if you put it beside your pillow I know I'm the kind of person that, uh, that throws it out at night when I'm sleeping <laughs> so that's not really smart I, I love those holes in the wall, maybe from posters of someone living here before and he didn't uh, put up the holes in the wall very neatly. And of course all the photos, I think it's fun that people use them in the dorm room as well. And then here we have some organizing stuff, some tea, coffee making and a blueprint. Some more storage and clothing for laundry aspects, all that sort of thing. And just very nice carpet on the floor with um, stuff. <laughs> I'm really sorry for my lack of English words for a lot of things. Uh, I just draw blanks whenever I want to say the word that is the, the tapestry on the floor there is a word for that carpet no that the flooring i don't know uh, put it in the comments if i don't think of it this, this is real stupid <laughs> i feel like i should uh, do a, uh, a workshop english or something because there are very basic words i just can't remember for the life of me what the word is for this I don't know but cute room and I love how it's for three people this is the only one that made it for three people and it's just amazing that it's possible to make it for three people uh, I made rooms a little big um, <laughs> I, I didn't th thought it uh, very much true uh, in it I think dorm rooms are something different than the student rooms we have here in the Netherlands um, because do we we don't live on campus or that sort of thing so you just uh, rent a space and those are if I see movies all my American knowledge is for movies so if I see a dorm room on television it's really small and I think the dorm rooms they have for two people is something that most students have for just one person so i i think that was a little bit of confusion <laughs> um didn't really think that through so 
uh, but I'm I'm really happy to see what people did with all the space, and it's really fun to see all the inventive things people think of to put a lot uh, in the room. And here we have another room by Simbina, and this is also the last room to tour. So let's check it out. In the pride flag here for. This is the one pride flag for person of colors, I believe, right? That's cool to hang it here. And of course the clutter. I love this kind of clutter. If I, if I have teens in my house, I always put this clutter on the floor. I think it's really cool. And the closet, of course. And also already a diploma. This is really cool. Maybe she's going for a second diploma or something oh something has not gone quite right here i imagine there was a desk here as well or this desk was more to the right something didn't went totally okay here because the the, the books on top of hmm i'm sorry uh, I don't know how you had it before, uh, so I, I wait. Maybe we can fix it a bit. We didn't have that on, I believe. No, then oops. Maybe can I put here? Yes, but then you don't see. I maybe it was more like this, and then we put this more like here so i hope this is more how it looked like I'm, I'm sorry the game did something weird and of course a little corner for a coffee and tea and uh, uh, a fire extinguisher that's the first that's a really neat addition to have we had a fire extinguisher in my uh, dorm or an alarm and that thing went off if you just showered a little bit too hot. So it was really annoying because every other day the thing went off and all the building had to uh, go outside. And after a while you just figured if it stopped after five minutes, we'll be all right and I'm staying up. <laughs> so I'm glad there was never a real fire because I think the half of the building would have burned down. So happy that didn't happen. And here we have also a lot of clutter all the postcards collectible so this is someone who likes to send mail and postcards and likes to paint as well all those little things and the cushions here so these are really creative people i imagine and the lights i'm glad someone used the lights as well and then the books, the storage like this is very smart. So you have the bookcases and then the closets and in between. That's real cool. Smart use of the space. So you don't clutter up the room that much. Uh, and oh, I think this is more of a science uh, geeky person. And here we have the creative person. I love the contrast. Most people use something similar like the geek and the sporting jock or the geek and the creative person. It's really fun to see those contrasts and how everyone uh, thought about it and made it their own. So awesome job. I have to say I'm so proud of you guys. I mean look at all the rooms we have here and, and a lot of details and, and the thoughts about it and it's all just so smart and make me really happy to see it all. and. It was amazing to see that I had 18 entries for the whole thing because that is just a lot. And it's so cool because I never had that many people participate in a challenge of mine. So thank you all for participating. It was really a lot of fun. I hope to do uh, challenges more because I really love to showcase what people can do and uh, the creativeness people have and, and the smart things they, they think of and the inventiveness people have so that's really cool and uh, I'm applauding you and I'm 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 just so happy I'm jumping up and down and it's so cool so thank you so much and uh, well these were all the rooms 
so this is also the end of the video. Remember that you are awesome and I will see you soon with a new video or on Twitter.